Community policing for us is about connection, about collaboration. There's a new top cop in town, interim police chief Anthony Campbell officially becoming the new Haven police chief. Tonight, we're sitting down with Campbell one-on-one, -on -one, his first day on the job after being named chief. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Ann Craig. I'm Darren Kramer. It is a big step forward for that police department. They have been without a permanent chief for more than eight months now. Here's a timeline of how things have played out there. It was back in September that the former chief, Dean Esserman, resigned. Our News 8 cameras, the only ones to catch this shot of him. Uh, we've got a picture of him driving away here. Uh, amid a whole bunch of controversy, too. We stayed on this story, introducing you to the interim chief, Campbell, and his interest in community policing. Then just yesterday, we found out that Campbell has been named chief. We were the first to let you know about that, too, sending a breaking news push alert through our News 8 app. So what is next now for this department under Chief Campbell's leadership? News H. Jason Newton sat down with him today for a one-on-one -on -one interview. He joins us live now with that. Jason. After being named interim chief back in September, and interim chief uh, Campbell got the news yesterday afternoon that he is now picked to permanently lead the New Haven police force into the future. How are you? It's now official Anthony Campbell will serve as the next police chief to the more than 400 members of the New Haven Police Department. Now I'm so eager to serve the men and women of this department and the men and women of this community um, in making sure that each of us is safer. That philosophy of servant leadership that Campbell adheres to is a main reason why Mayor Tony Hart picked him over two other well-qualified finalists. A commitment from his heart because he approaches this from the place of service and I think he'll be able to transmit that to every officer walking on the street. A Yale graduate with two degrees, Campbell rose through the ranks of New Haven Police to become assistant chief. He was named interim chief after the departure of Chief Dean Esserman in September. His vision is to bring more transparency and accountability. And the department is in no way, shape or form broken but there are things that we can do a lot better. So for me, my priorities are transparency and accountability. I believe one of the biggest ways to bring that about is the body-worn cameras. Three things Campbell wants to bring include a work contract for rank-and-file officers who have been in negotiations since June of 2016. He's also pledged to equip every officer on the force with the work cell phone so citizens can personally call their beat officer. The men and women of this department are committed to making sure that every member of this community knows that they can approach us and talk to us about anything, not simply about criminal matters, but about their lives. The third issue deals with domestic violence. The thing that we found that is the new frontier is domestic violence. Both Campbell and Mayor Harp agree that the city needs a family justice center to provide wraparound services for victims of domestic violence. When I look at the murders that occurred last year, over a third of them were because of domestic violence. So that if we're going to really reduce crime in our city, uh, we're going to have to grapple with domestic violence. That And tomorrow night, the Board of Alders here in New Haven will vote to approve a $1.5 million state grant that would fund all body cameras for every officer on the force that you heard uh, Chief Campbell talking about right there. And Chief Campbell is set to be sworn in on June 1st. We're live in New Haven. Jason Newton, News 8. All right, Jason, thank you. Campbell's time on the job almost came to an end 10 years ago. He was run down by a suspect, suspect's vehicle and nearly killed. Take a look, we have video of that scene all those years ago. Campbell was knocked unconscious, had to spend two years learning how to walk again and how to regain the use of his right arm. Campbell says he refused to, quote, let the bad guys win. And he fought to make it back on the force. Now, a decade later, he's leading the force. And like we said, News 8 was first to tell you about Campbell's new job with a breaking news push alert. So make sure you have that free News 8 app for your smartphone or your tablet.